Today's Live in the D is sponsored in part by the Certified Angus Beef Brand. If it's not certified, it's not the best. Millions of Americans will be firing up the grills this weekend for the biggest holiday of the summer. And if you're looking for a recipe sure to impress, grab your tongs. We've got steaks to grill to perfection. We are joined by Chef Gavin Pinto with our sponsor, Certified Angus Beef Brand. And he is going to share his secrets to a luxurious grilled steak and how super easy it is. I'm going to grab air because it's so good. What's going on, Chef? Oh, not much. How are you doing today? I'm doing excellent because you have something I'm going to be eating in about four minutes. Uh, let's uh, start with the steak itself. What steaks are best for grilling and what should we look for? So there's a variety of steaks that are great for grilling. Ribeyes, strips, fillets, sirloins. There's tons out there that you can grill. But most important is going to be marbling. And with certified Angus beef, you always know that you're going to get amazing marbling in the steaks. So right here, we have some certified Angus beef strip steaks. Right here. OK. I'm going to hold this up. And it's one of my favorites because it's kind of a crowd pleaser. It's got nice marbling. It's super tender, super beefy. And I just love a good strip steak because you can't go wrong with strip. Everybody loves it. And if you want to pre please a crowd, I want to serve them the best steaks. So I always serve certified Angus beef because if it's certified, you know it's the best. So All right, now I'm going to hit it with just a little salt and pepper. OK, so coarse sea salt. That's right. Um, why coarse? Why, why not like uh, iodized, iodized salt? So you know, iodized waters. salt can be a little bit, it melts too quickly for me. Coarse will add a nice texture to it, which I really enjoy, and it prevents you from over-salting the steaks. Right, because once you start really salting and you get, get a good dusting on there, you're like, okay, maybe I should back off now. Right, so it's hard to tell how much salt. When you can see the salt, you know exactly how much you've salted. Excellent. The other key is to get it onto a nice hot grill. You can kind of hear that sizzle. If you're not hearing that sizzle. Wait, watch this. There we go. That's the sizzle, right? That's what you want to hear when you're cooking a steak because you want that nice sear. You're not going to get nice browning without a good high heat grill. And if you need to turn it down, you can always turn it down. So as you're cooking these in a skillet, not on the grill, we're just right. for purposes of television, we're doing right. this on the, on the uh, stove top here. But uh, how are you taking this recipe to the next level? So what I we mean, do I see here. The ingredients down here. Right. What we like to do is, because when you cook a steak, you want to let it rest for about half the amount of time it was on the grill. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on there, Chief. What do you mean, let it rest? So a steak, as it rests, it continues to cook a few extra degrees. After you take it off the heat, it's right. still cooking. It's still cooking. It's going to go a little bit further. You don't want to overcook your steak. Got it. So usually I pull them off a few degrees early, put on like a platter or a plate. But with this recipe, what we do is we make a board dressing. So we put some fresh herbs. Parsley, thyme, sage. Tati, it's a board dressing that they're making over here. So it's all these things that are so nice this time of year. You know, fresh herbs in the yes. summer popping up. So what we like to do is put this right onto there. You can see they're warm. Mm -hmm. All that heat is waking up the herbs, giving the flavor to the steaks. Steaks are providing flavor to the herbs. We just let them rest before we slice them up. What's going on here? So this is the base for our board dressing. It's soy sauce, olive oil, balsamic vinegar and a little Dijon mustard. So if you want to mix that up for me, I will slice up some steaks. Okay, you want me to do this? Yeah, go ahead. All right, I'm fine. There we go. So as you can see, normally I'd let this rest a little bit longer. Nicole, Ashley, how are we doing? Good. Thumbs up in the background. So okay. 30 seconds left. All right, now what I like to do, we'll slice this up, right? Yep. And then we'll have, well, first of all, we got to have a little piece for you. Okay. So there's that. And what do I just ladle this on Let top? Let me get a little bit of these herbs right seconds. in there. Oh, yeah. you put that in there too. Right okay. in there. Got it. We'll go right on top. Okay. Boom. There you go. And then you can go ahead and take a bite. All right. Where can people, here's the most important thing of all. Where can people get steaks as delicious as these? You can find these at Meyer, and you can find more recipes like this on certifiedangusbeef.com. OMG. What is in this? Just really basic ingredients. Something that you probably right, have right around the house and then some fresh herbs from the garden if that's just, if you have uh, some fresh herbs in the backyard. Incredible. Thank you, Chef. All right. Thanks for having me. Remember, Meyer is where you get certified Angus beef. We will be posting these recipes on our page at Click on Detroit after the show. And for more great recipes and to learn more, visit the website certifiedangusbeef.com. Again, that is <laughs> certified Angus Beef Duck.
<laughs> a little bit of the spice got in my heart. <laughs>